Nathan, do you like camping? Uh, I love camping. It's no longer camping, it's overlanding. Yeah, that's right, that's what it's called. Yeah, and it's luxurious. And behind us is the new Jeep way out. It's a concept that Mark Allen put together for the Easter Jeep Safari. So why don't we have them shown to us? It's got a lot of really cool surprises. Including marshmallows, a blender, and it's one of my favorite concepts. Are these even real? No. No, that's not good. You know, Nathan, uh, when one is driving prototype Jeeps here at the Easter Jeep Safari, one works up an appetite. That's right, baby. Nothing really happens at appetite like beef jerky. Yeah, especially Paisley's beef jerky, which is local and grass-fed. That's right, baby. Anytime is jerky time. Oh, yeah. That's good jerky. All right, Mark, way out, right? Overlanding has become huge, but yeah. once upon a time, me and you called it camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I asked all the time, has anybody overlanded? No. You ever slept in your car? Yeah. You've overlanded. Yeah. Um, so we think we think that the uh, the new Gladiator is going to be really popular with overlanding crowds because they've always, they use Wrangler, uh, but they run out of payload or capacity really quickly in space. This truck, I think, is going to fix a lot of that because it has all the Jeep, good off-road abilities. We started with a Rubicon here, on, honestly, but just the, the extra space and capacity is going to be huge. Started with a Rubicon, two-inch lift, 37-inch tire. Hey, on a, get the steelies? We get those. We find them online. They're an old-school yeah. steel wheel, and it just try to make it look really uh, understated. The color is actually a production color coming out later this year, and that is Gator Green. It's uh, the the least green we could get it. Um, blacked out the grill, has the Rubicon bumper, added a 12,000 pound winch to it. Um, the hood is un unique because this is the export hood. It's different than what we get in the States. So it has some of the pedestrian protection baked into it. It's actually a steel hood, not an aluminum hood. It's a little hood. taller, I think. It's right? a little taller, yeah. yeah. Added a uh, JPP snorkel to it. And um, again, snorkels, people tend to think that like, well, you can go through water that deep. What the snorkel does for you is takes away the anxiety. When you're doing a water crossing, you're not even having to think about uh, the air intake. It's just when you're going through water crossings. We do a lot of water crossings where I go wheeling up in Canada. To, While we're talking about the snorkel, I gotta yeah. ask you, you know, that there's that raging controversy in the overland community yeah. whether your snorkel should face forward or yes, backwards. Yes, yes. So are you a forward guy? A forward guy is fine. Yeah. Uh, if it's extremely dusty out, point it backwards, right? All right. That's my thought. Right. Again, just really understated on the truck, but the, the magic happens back here. We, we made this, uh, this rack for it, it's, that's custom made. Painted the top, that's actually, the, cut, the top is custom, I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, we did that in like this green tan combo. Added this beautiful tent to it, and it's a hard shell tent. You crank it up and they're really stable uh, in wind, okay, and in rain and stuff like that. And then the inside, you gotta go look at the inside of the tent, it's really beautifully done. And the, what's unique about the top is to, to nest the tent in there. We actually uh, cast a new top and it has a divot in that the tent nests so in. So that it builds. To keep the, the profile as low as yeah. possible. There's one of the, uh, the rooftop tent manufacturers that they, they uh, advertise their tent. It keeps you up and out of the food chain, which that's, I love that quote. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Added steps to it. So we have the, the Rubicon piece, but we added a step to, to access the tent if you need to uh, on this side. But the uh, the fuel cans the fuel baked cans. into the yeah. side, just yeah. really custom piece. I, I just I, I wish you could actually build that, but I, yeah. I was talking to Nathan and we thought, could you actually do that? Yeah, and it's he, a little over the top, but I think it's cool. He thought the government wouldn't allow it. I thought your attorneys wouldn't allow it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's for water. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, body fuel. Uh, has this super cool awning to it. I'll open that up. Yeah. Deploys rapidly. And we could do the rest of the interview under here out of the sun. Yeah, that's great. And if you guys have not ever been overlanding, these things are just a godsend. Yeah. There's guide wires and, and stuff for it to hold it in the wind, but it's really cool. All of a sudden we've got shade. Yeah, or rain protection. Yeah. The back, um, we put the deck system in here, and this is available from Mopar. The drawers, really super cool. And, but this one we customized. Oh, beautiful, look at that.
is icy here. You can make a, a refreshment. Yeah? I love that, Mark. That is so, so cool. You can take all the comforts of home when you're out there. Well, that's the whole deal. That's why you're not doing it with a backpack and a yeah. tent. You're, uh, you're glamping, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that it has like a dyno throttle on it. Uh, and so, uh, what kind of margarita do you prefer? Uh, Non-alcoholic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Would it be no, strawberry or traditional or what, what's your... I'm, I'm a traditional guy. Traditional yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, what's cool about the tent when you go up there, the, the ladder is all baked into the truck. I saw so, that, yeah. Yep, we, uh, there, and there's big questions on how that first step works. Uh, we cut out the flare and that, that first step is uh, heavily reinforced for step load on it. So inside's cool. The uh, the seats are all uh, this great brown leather, but we had them uh, laser etch. It's a topographic, topographical map of uh, Moab. Wow, how cool is that? Yeah, that is really and cool. just uh, sticker bomb the dash. This is cool. Paint the inside of this tin, which I think it surprised me how well that works. So we're looking at doing something up here. Just added a few details to it. Again, the carpet's gone. Uh, it's just why drag all that stuff around with you. We <laughs> baked in. This is. Uh, the control for the the um, it's got an ARB yeah. compressor back there and a large tank because that blender eats a lot of air. But it's also got a chuck so you can air the tires up and stuff. And it's just air pressure gauge. Well, you can air up and air down. Yep, you just carry a hose around with you, and yeah. it's all it's all there. I think it's cool I love that it's that's integrated. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, really super custom. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Nathan. Now, Cheers. Now, this is camping. This is camping. You know, <laughs> back in the day, we were lucky to get some mores, but now, look at this. Not only do we have lime and salt, but we've got a blender that comes with the rig. Yeah, this is it's, this is not the reason why it's my favorite rig, but it is definitely part of the reason. That is my reason why. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, Moab reviews. Moab overlanding reviews.